Hey guys, so I am back for the second part of my last video. Um, my last video I showed you about the All About Me journaling fun um, that's going to be starting this Sunday, July 24th. And you can check out um, Rebecca's channel at Rebecca Hoot. And so I have that information linked in my other video. So I said that I wanted to try for this journaling um, using a composition notebook. So I went ahead and I have um, taken out seven pages throughout and um, used just like Elmer's glue stick glue. Any type of glue like that will work. And glued two pages together so that if you want to like um, watercolor, paint, markers, you know, anything like that. Um, it's going to work and not bleed through to the other side. So this is just a week long challenge. So obviously, um, this composition book is going to be way bigger than what I need for it, but I may just go ahead and continue using it after. Um, I really just thought it would be a great, um, thing just to try out. So I'm not a hundred percent exactly everything I want to do on the cover. Um, I know that I want to use this um, paint. It's called Gesso. Gesso. It's um, an acrylic medium. And it's basically good just for like, kind of like um, covering up things that you want to cover up. Or like say if I, you know, maybe wanted to paint like a light wash over one of these pages, I could do that. Um, if you don't have this, there's, you know, no need to spend a lot like if you're not going to use it for other um projects you don't think just you know run to a craft store and grab you just a cheap um thing of white paint acrylic white paint will do fine as well so um but if you would like to order this you can order it on amazon somewhere like that so it's kind of like just kind of a thicker type paint so Basically, um, I'm just going to go over it. I've been trying to think about what um, I do want to collage for the front cover. So, um, I've been getting some ideas what I want to do. So, um, I wanted to share too this video with you just like Rebecca had said in hers. She wanted to, you know, make sure that everybody can get started on theirs. Um, you know, so you're not rushing, like, if you would like to try to start on Sunday, then you're not rushing trying to get it all done. You know, you can kind of take the week and think about what you want to do. Um, and two, you know, the idea of this is to be able to use things that you already have at home so that you don't have to necessarily go out and buy, um, you know, a bunch of supplies or whatever. So, and also something that I was thinking about too, in her video, she had said, you know, if you don't want to make this journal about yourself, you could make it about one of your kids or your husband, significant other, um, your grandkids, your dog, your cat, <laughs> kind of whatever you want. So it's basically just something to have fun and um, get creative with. So I am going to go ahead and let this side dry and then I'll flip it over and do the back and then I'll be back with you to let you guys see what we do next. Okay guys, so in my part that I was filming before, I had um, <clears throat> used the gesso on the front of the composition book and painted that. But then I realized, well, that was probably really unnecessary because it looks like I am going to end up covering this up anyways. But definitely if you want to actually like paint on the front of your journal or something like that, then that is definitely a great step to do. I just realized, however, I really probably didn't need to do that step, but that's okay. It's all part of the creative process. So I thought that I would just kind of let y'all see where I'm at. Um, I really wanted to do like a collage type cover for this. So um, I have just been pulling from my stash, um, which is part of 
uh, what Rebecca says to do. You know, do not go out. You don't need to go out and buy anything um, fancy. Just use stuff that you already have. So I have this. Um, this is actually a little card that I got from a little boutique store. And I just think it is the cutest little thing. And I have not used it. So um, you can find it at Chronicle Books <clears throat> if you're interested in it. It's by Natalie L-E-T-E. -E. So um, she also has some notebooks and things like that. But anyways, so that's where this little cute little key cat's from. So basically I took, this part is just a piece of um, scrapbook paper and I took it and um, trimmed around it just to make it so that it would fit. So what I'm going to do before I actually put this on is, so I have all of my pieces that I am <clears throat> layering. You know, remember there's no rules to this, so y'all can do whatever you want. Um, and like I said, I've just taken, this is actually like a playing card, an old vintage playing card. So what I'm going to do is, it's basically how I want it. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just take some of my Elmer's glue and I am going to just tack some of this down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this minus the cat. Take basically this, take it to my sewing machine and I am going to go around all of the edges of these so that they will stay in place. Um, and then I am going to, I'll probably use some glue and put her down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole book back to my sewing machine and I'm actually going to go around. So around the whole book. So I'm thinking that this will work. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet, but um, it should work. So I've sewn on a lot of things. So this isn't, I mean, it's, you know, a thicker card, but I think that that should work. So yeah, so that is kind of where I'm at with my All About Me journal. So um, I'm going to do that and then I will show you my progress. Okay guys, so I have returned and I pretty much have um, it all completed. So the outside, I am super excited with how it turned out. So y'all saw um, that I had sewed it and then I put it down and um, I had told y'all I've never sewed on a composition book cover before, but um, I didn't really have any trouble other than why I do not video while I'm doing projects like this is because I did break my needle, but I think it was just because my needle had was old and had been around a while because my new one didn't have any problems. So anyways, I got my little cute kitty cat added on and then I have this really cute um, daisy, um, I don't know, trim that I added and then this really cute little crocheted um, trim. Both of these were from um, Nazia Amity Bloom in a um, pack that I had ordered from her probably, I don't know, probably at least a year ago. And so then I also did stitch on some fabric and I don't know, I just love all the textures and the dimensions and how it feels. And so I did um, go ahead and do this to the inside. Um, so what I did was I just took another piece of scrapbook paper and I laid it down, trimmed around it, and then I did, um, so I sewed this part and I sewed this part in both all at the same time. And then this little envelope, which I thought would be cute, like I could stick, I don't know, stuff in there if I needed it. Um, so that was an envelope that came with this um, kitty cat card. So I thought, well, it would be handy to just have a pocket and um, 
So, you know, you don't have to have, you know, any kind of special envelope. You could even just do like um, another piece of scrapbook paper, cut it, and then just do along the edges with um, either sewing it or glue. Um, oops, knocking all my stuff over. This is a glue that I really like. Um, I featured it on here before called Fabri-Tac. Um, this is the glue that I used to glue down my cat and my trim and my little crochet flower. Um, it is for fabric, but you can also use it for paper, but it is super strong and holds up really well. So, um, I use that to glue that in as well. And then the back, um, I went ahead and just used another piece of um, scrapbook paper that was kind of coordinating from this same pack. Oh, one thing that I did want to tell y'all. So, you know that in my first part, I did uh, use the gesso paint. Well, I did use the gesso paint on the whole thing and then on the, the um, spine part as well. So, as I was working with this um, and putting stuff together, the paint was peeling off of this spine. So, I knew that I was going to cover it up anyways um i know a lot of people like to use book binding tape um which would be great but i don't have any so that is something that i've seen on amazon and that i do want to order um but so i did just take some masking tape the back as you can see is not beautiful i might add some like washi tape or something to it um down the line but for now you really don't you know you're not really gonna see it so it's fine for now but anyway so just something to keep in mind whenever you are um, working with your journal so I did want to go ahead and here on this first page um, I want to make a pocket to like use to stick in so I have this vintage wallpaper and I think it's super cute the colors go with um, the colors that I'm doing you know, kind of go with the colors of oranges and browns and greens and stuff that I already have down. So I thought that this would be cute. I really don't want to cut it up. I could make the pocket a little bit more shallow, but I think for what it is, I just, this is a vintage piece of wallpaper and I really don't want to mess it up. So I am going to just fold. I figured I would try to do this with y'all. Fold this over and possibly get a halfway measurement on cutting it. So if you want to use um, your paper trimmer, that's good. I use that a lot, but sometimes I just We'll just eyeball it and go for it. Okay. Guess I should have used my paper trimmer because it's a little bit crooked. But I guess that's okay. Probably not too big of a deal. Okay, so whenever I get ready to glue that down, I'm gonna glue it on three sides and then I'll be able to stick a piece of paper in it. But before I do that, I have just these cheap pack of watercolors. I don't even remember where I got these. I may have got them on Amazon. I think I probably got them on Amazon. So anyways, you could look on Amazon just at water watercolors. And, um, and one thing I did buy was this watercolor uh, like marker pen thing. Um, I, I really don't do a lot of watercoloring. I do do some, um, but I thought just to add a little bit of color to this first page um, at the top, since there's so much color at the bottom, um, I wanted to go ahead and just lay down some color. So let's see, I made you just kind of like this orangey color here and just kind of go with it. The 
the first time I ever used one of these little um, paintbrush thingies. I really liked it. So I don't really think it's probably great for like, if you want to like super detail watercolor, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong. I really don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about with watercoloring. I don't know, guys. Y'all might know better than me. But um, I don't know. It's just something fun to do and adds color dimension to your page. And I don't know. It's fun. So, you know, whatever is fun, makes you happy and just brighten your day is great. Okay, so let's see. I feel like I really probably need to trim this down just a tad at the top because I do kind of feel like it may be just a little bit tall. Okay, so give me just a second and I'm going to trim that down real quick. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. This is kind of why I feel like, see, maybe I shouldn't do stuff like this <laughs> on camera. I don't know. Okay. So before I glue this down, I actually want to double check that this paper is going to fit inside of here. Um, okay. So if you were with me for my first video, this is the Rebecca Who All About Me Journal Fun. And so um, if you go to her website, she had, or not her website, if you go to her Instagram, which I will link below, um, in her bio, she has um, a uh, thing to be able to go to this. So um, it starts on Sunday and it's a week long process which is why I made this journal if y'all didn't know you can catch that in my previous video but what I wanted to do was basically just fold this in half so that I could easily refer to it um you know throughout the week that I'm doing this all about me journal challenge and so I wanted to be able to just stick it in the front pocket so yeah, I think that will work. Okay, but however, I do see these sides. I'm gonna go ahead and add, I think maybe I'll just add a little different, um, some yellowy to it on the sides here. You know, and this is your journal. This is all about you. This is your thing. So um, create with it what you want and chores. Have fun. So you can do whatever you want to it. I know that uh, Rebecca in her Insta story, she had um, showed she was working on her cover of her journal. So she's using like a little book. Um, so I'm anxious to see what hers turns out like. It's, I know it's going to be really cute. Um, she's such a, such a talented artist. Um, I love, she has like these girls that she draws and it's really just amazing to me. I wish that I had, was able to have a talent, that talent of that kind of drawing. I just think it's great, but I guess we all have our own little talents. Um, you know, that's what makes each of us different and each of us unique. So... Mine may not be drawing, but I do have other things that I like to enjoy as well. All right, so I'll get that on there and let that dry. And I may do just a little bit more um, embellishing, adding a few other little things to it, but for now I'm gonna let that dry and then I will be able to go ahead and stick my um, my little sheet in there with it. And so again, I'm really excited with how my little book turned out, my little journal. And um, I'm just, I'm really excited. So if you guys haven't checked out Rebecca Hoot's 
yet, please do so. And um, I think it's just going to be a really fun week of memory keeping and um, just creativity and just having a good time. So please check it out and follow along with me. I'm going to be filming and um, following along with the prompts um, with her as well. So thank you guys so much and I will see y'all soon. Remember to be kind. Have a good, great day, everybody. Bye, guys.